Hi guys, happy 19th of December. Today we have got another art discussion and this one is of a painting. I believe that this is back in 2022? 21, 22? Somewhere around that ballpark. It was part of the subtraction art series that I did and I was incredibly proud of myself because at that point I had so many like paints and I didn't know what to do with them and I really struggled apart from doing still life to do painting in any form and for me I just wanted to put paint down on a canvas and just make something of it. I wanted to be like the Turner version of oil painting and I just couldn't do it and I found that if I just put the paint on I was being very picky about and um, very neat and tidy about it where I just needed to just put it down and just become this new weird genre which I accidentally fell into after waiting for something else to dry. So I'm going to show you the artwork now, I'll do a proper show at the very end as always and we can go from there. This is the artwork. Now it, its name is called Three People. Um, I can't remember what I called it in Spanish. It basically translates to Three People in Spanish. And this is oil paint. All of it is with Winsor & Newton. And you can see all the various map making, well, marks that you've got. So the three people that I've actually got, I'll leave that up to your imagination to be able to find them. Because I feel like it's again another piece that you have to investigate and actually undiscover yourself. The way I actually started this is that I started with a single line and then built my composition around it and I mean it's very apparent which line it was because it's this massive red one going straight through. I actually went over several times because you can see towards the very bottom of it where I had blue underneath so I decided to like try and cover it up bit up and then I decided to put it back in to create this separation and this weird curious art piece. I always find paintings I follow the same process towards the very end and that is putting a lot of dark shades and colour and then at the final stage adding white to kind of bring it back to a weird settle point. I can't quite explain it. It's when you know when the artwork is finished. And another rare thing for me is that I actually used a paintbrush for this and for those of you who don't know I prefer to stick to silicone brushes which have like little silicone tops and shapes to drag the artworks around, the artworks around, <laughs> to drag the paint around and to create a different kind of mark making technique. Whereas this one I actually used the same brush the whole way through and I actually did this within a few hours which is very rare for me as well. I think I'm gonna guess around 10 hours that I did it for. That was incredibly difficult for me. This is the third version of the subtraction artwork. So if anyone doesn't know, subtraction artwork is where you start with a single piece of mark making and you use your subconscious to fill in the rest of the artwork. It's a bit like abstraction, but abstraction is from an, an, like an object, whereas subtraction is from your mind and your conscious thoughts, which I always find fascinating because maybe once or twice a year I'll bring out a subtraction artwork and I'm like oh my god <laughs> am I okay <laughs> it's kind of that sort of thought process I remember doing one the day after I found my driving test the first time and it was just very brown not morbid but very sensitive and once I actually looked into the artwork and how I felt and I realized what it looked like that's when I realized okay I actually my mental state isn't is quite fragile at this point but yeah and thoroughly enjoyed the process of this subtraction artwork. It's one of those ones I will pin up and be so proud of that I've managed to find. Like someone else could have found a similar process to it. I'm sure there's someone else in terms of the art world have that have got a similar way of working in this way. But for me to find it by myself and then try to research it, I feel like I stumbled on it completely by accident, but it's a very happy accident. So this one is on a canvas and it is approximately A2 in size and I will be selling this one for £200 post-posting packaging. The posting packaging will vary depending on 
where you are if you are abroad it will be a bit more expensive but i am signed up to the global scheme on ebay which is where you'll find this piece of artwork if you were in within the uk it will be 12 pounds posted in packaging and that's because of who it's going with unfortunately this will be a bit too big for royal mail so i have to send it off with someone else who will actually cover the cost if anything happens to this or it gets lost or damaged and obviously i want to make sure that both of us are, are covered and it's just yeah it's a great little piece it has been in one exhibition it was in the summer art fair in chester in 2022 that was quite a fun event to be a part of actually i've actually i did some videos of it i'll leave them in the description box if you want to check them out and i actually think i've got this one on my channel i've been painting it and another video of me explaining my subtraction art so i'll leave all the links if you want to check them out as well down below they're, they're a good watch they are a good watch it's quite nice sometimes after you've done one you'll be staring at it for ages like what are you what 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 in my subconscious has come up to me within the form of this paint and some of them are just really obvious and some are just not. This one is a bit more obvious because you've got the natural curvature of the bodies. However, some of them I just still have no idea what they're on about. <laughs> but yeah. So I'm going to bring you up for a close up for this one. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. If you would like, in my description box there are links to my social medias and also my eBay selling account, which is where you find all my artworks, including this one, up for sale. But again, in the meantime, thank you guys again. There's also a PayPal donation page. If you'd like to make a donation, it'd be greatly appreciated. If you can't do any of that, don't worry. Please just like and subscribe, because it does help me out in exactly the same way in the long run. Yeah, I'm going to bring you up to a close-up. I'll see you guys later.